Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot, and today we are doing a reading for Dilaraba, Dilmarat, and Future Spouse. Let's see. Oh, actually, I think there was somebody they wanted to see. Who did they want with her? Yang Yang, I feel. I think it's Yang Yang. I, I had a piece of paper here somewhere. Yeah, Yang Yang, that's who it is. So Yang Yang and Dilaraba. Dilim, Dil, Dilmarat. She's tongue twister. Okay, the Well Watcher. We have oh, these terrible cards. Wisdom, power of the divine. Wow, so somebody is really connected here. Let's see, what else do we have? The Lady of the Lightning. Surprise, something. Oh, some, sometimes shocking. Total paradigm shift. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Really? And the resting tree, patience and stillness. I feel like somebody's waiting for someone to come in. This is master number 33. We have 35, which is 8. And we have 7. And 7 and 8 is reflection, assessment, knowledge, and spirit, which is totally unreal that this is saying that it's connected to the divine so that's pretty cool and the other one is restoration um, cooperation and harmony so peace that's cool I mean who doesn't want to have or be at peace here the winged wise one angelic help miraculous aid so angels are coming in to help and this is seven as well so we have seven Eight, twenty-two, which is the master number, and then seven once again. So, some of those numbers might be. Um, someone might want to look those up um, on the angel numbers. See if there's a message there. And on the bottom of the deck, we have the word Lord, communication, praise, dishonesty. Ooh. And that's another seven. Wow, seven, seven, seven. That is something. <laughs> so I like it. Let's see. Dilaraba and Yang Yang. Ooh, freedom here. Rebellious freedom. That's um, ambition. That is Capricorn energy. So we have somebody is maybe available right now. We have the Queen of Wands in reverse, so somebody's unhappy, even revengeful in some ways, um, with the Queen of Wands in reverse. So somebody may be wanting to break free from this Queen of Wands, and I kind of feel like she may be plotting to take revenge here on this Capricorn, if it is a Capricorn here. This might be an ending here. Hmm. Knight of Swords in reverse. So somebody that maybe isn't so... I'm kind of feeling like not wanting to be so gung-ho about maybe jumping and going and being riding like the seat of their pants and not really thinking things through. I feel like they might be pausing to actually think something through here and they're not just going to rush in. Ooh. That could be that plot. Two cups in reverse. There's no love here. Um, no union. It's an ending, I feel. Yeah, definitely justice here in the heart of the reading. Um, Karmic debts are being paid, it looks like, with the Justice card, and that is Libra. Somebody's paying some karmic debt back that needed to be paid. Yeah, they're overcommitted. Um, 
exhausted, maybe doing things. Hmm. Let's see, what else did we get here? Maybe something for the long term. Maybe this has been a long time coming for this breakup. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So somebody might be having unhealthy behaviors here. May even be losing some money. Maybe spending too much money and not saving enough. Let's see what else do we get. Ah, uh, yeah, the Wounded Warrior. So still persevering no matter what is thrown in the road ahead. So let's see. Yeah, there is an offer here, maybe even a financial offer. So let's see. Yeah, definitely a breakup. I'm just going to clarify a few cards here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, a positive change I just saw here with the Five of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, heartbreak here. Definitely heartbreak. Why is the Queen plotting revenge? Hmm. She may be seeing things differently here, different perspective. And what is this Knight of Swords here? Yeah, maybe somebody is with somebody for their pentacles, maybe suck them right dry here. They may be in poverty, maybe having that karma. What's this two of cups in reverse? Ooh, yeah, it's about the ten of pentacles. It's all about the money and not anything to do with love. Mm, somebody may even be... Um, taken already. This might be a third party situation that happened here where somebody was jealous. What's this ten of wands? Yeah, somebody's having bad luck here. The wheel is not in their favor. Their financial um, is okay. Yeah, they're working hard to try to save some money long term. Maybe doing some financial um, investments here with the seven of pentacles with the eight of pentacles here so what is this queen of pentacles here in reverse but an unhealthy oh she's watching so she might this might be the two of them one's watching the other or seeing somebody going through through some karma what is this nine of wands uh, king of Swords. There, this is a King of Swords who's feeling like a wounded warrior here, and it's possible that the feminine stepped out with another feminine. This could have been a huge ego blow. <laughs> Let's see. Hmm. Something may have come to light with the Sun card here, with this other offer, because there's an offer here and something is coming to light or it's an offer that makes this masculine very happy let's do some of these cards here let's see Ooh, cornucopia i feel like somebody here once they part ways from these two feminines I feel like this king of swords is going to have better luck I feel like the karma is due to the other two the one that stepped out it could be the king of swords who is receiving karma but it kind of feels like it's this queen of pentacles or even this other queen of wands in reverse. There's revenge here too. So an unhealthy behaviors by these two feminine. Wow. Okay. Well, <laughs> let's see. What do we get here? We got door to value. So somebody was with somebody for their coinage. Then we have third chakra, which is solar plex chakra. And 
that's number 10. So I feel like this is where that gut feeling of maybe being in a situation that isn't so good for you. And if it's this masculine, he's realizing that the only way to keep things going is if he gets away from these two feminine here. This is also six. So this is restoration, cooperation, and harmony. And he may not be getting any of those things. Yeah, all he's really receiving is anxiety. And he wants his fruition, attainment, and fulfillment here. And I feel like he's just not getting that. That's on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, door to personal healing and happiness. And I feel like that's what he's kind of striving for. And maybe these two feminines have been working together to hold him there because of his family wealth. Or maybe he came into some money. Maybe his whole family has money and it's uh, a family situation. Let's see if it's love. Because there is no love here between these. So let's see what comes up in the love department. Worth waiting for. So... Yeah, divine timing is in in for this love life. There's somebody he's meant to be with here. Something's coming to light when it comes to this feminine. Yeah, she may just be there for uh, his money. And knowing that he has a thing for her and has for a long time until he meets his divine person. Let's see. Does the divine come in? course the divine's timing is going to absolutely have to have faith yeah it's going to be very soon for this king of swords Ooh, it's a soulmate wow okay so yes this is a soulmate it says heart to heart conversations so it's possible it could have been an ex could be why there's jealousy here too and this feminine is watching something here it could be watching this masculine like a hawk probably texting him and yeah forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past you experience more love in your present moment so instead of looking at what you had or what you don't have from the past or being in the past look at the future and what you feel you are going to acquire that you know and have faith in that is going to be in that positive mindset right so let's see love yourself first and i feel like that is definitely a lesson here so dilaraba she may be she may be the one that meets this king of swords here and I feel like he's learning some lessons here. And he's going to see something he hadn't seen before. And this may be somebody Dilaraba knows. Yang Yang might know who she is. Honeymoon. Oh. So it looks like this masculine maybe meeting Dilaraba and there might be a honeymoon here enjoying the bliss of a holiday time together and this queen of pentacles is watching all of this mm, yikes <laughs> what's the king of swords here for yang yang retreat it's time to disconnect from the world and i feel like they're going to get to know each other. There might be a quick wedding here going on. They may just know that they're meant to be together here. Mm, and children here. <laughs> there will be children when it comes to Yang Yang and Dilaraba, it looks like, if and when they meet or hook up. Let's see. Let's use the love cards and see if they end up meeting each other. What's this anyway? It came together. You speak to me through music, and I want to feel that way again. So this may be somebody from her past or his past. I don't feel like Dilaraba is any of these women. I feel like these two women are plotting to take this 
Yang Yang's money, maybe. Yeah, whatever this is, remember in the beginning I said that it looks like there's a breakup with this Queen of Wands in reverse and she's plotting for revenge? Well, the Grim Reaper's here and there is an end of a relationship is over, no second chances. So somebody's really choked here, really pissed straight off. Yeah, not happy at all. What's the flirt? Interested, converse, conversing, more awaited message arrives, text, call, email. Yeah, she's she won't leave him alone. I feel like she's bombarding him with texts and emails and trying to get a hold, hold of him, and not today. He's not going to have any of this. He's avoiding the conversations. He's angry still. He's not dealing with the hurt here from this person. He's not going to have her coming back around. No second chances, so. Yeah, soulmate, and it's funny that abundance comes in and lands on that soulmate there with that Ten of Pentacles. So I feel like maybe Dilaraba and Yang Yang maybe have something they're meant to do together that's going to create a lot of abundance for them. Let's see, heart to heart conversations. Yeah, they may be mirroring each other, doing that introspection and doing the inner work, that shadow side and dealing with whatever, whatever they need to deal with in order to break free of any um, past hurts or past issues. Forgiving and learning, what is that? Ooh, almost went off my table. Healing heart, yeah, see that? I love it. Healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic situations or addictions, and I feel like she's definitely, he is definitely getting away from this woman. Now, there's a woman here in reverse that's watching all this. But let's see what happens here. I don't feel that's Dilaraba. Love yourself first. And I feel like that's that self-love that's going on right now between the two of them. They're mirroring each other. So they're both maybe doing that inner work that needs to be done. Yeah, a new phase, rekindle, renew, transform, growth, change, mind. And I kind of feel like this might be something that's maybe they went out together or worked together at one point and this might just be a renewal of that or a rekindle of that and if they haven't met before this may be a new phase for both of them um, coming out of toxic situations yeah I kind of feel like this other person here this Queen of Pentacles in reverse, there's a separation from this person as well. So if there was a third party here, he's broken free from both women, okay? Separation on this Queen of Pentacles here who's watching everything. Maybe he was, um, maybe she came off as someone that had money and maybe he found out that really she didn't and sh she was there for his money maybe he even was engaged to this woman so okay let us see anyways he's broken free from the first feminine and the second feminine here what's the retreat here Woo. Yeah, be lighthearted, finding out things, things coming to light. So he's definitely healing from something here, and he's found something out here. Yeah, somebody <laughs> says interrogation, so persistent and sabotage. So I feel like these two might try to sabotage something coming in for him. Um, they're wanting to rebuild something here with him. They may be interrogating him about who he's with and what he's doing and yada, 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 because they're insecure. 
they have no confidence and they have no self love and no self respect right so they're going to come in and they're in a lower vibration so they're going to try to sabotage something that comes in for him unfortunately so let's see does yang yang and dilaraba know each other already did they date before yes okay so they may have dated on the down low or maybe it was publicly known um i don't research anybody because uh, maybe i should but a lot of people like it when i don't so then things click for them when they're watching because they know what's going on and when it comes out in the cards it just kind of confirms that I don't know maybe faith in tarot I don't know but in any case let's see will Dilaraba come in soon improving health so somebody might be um, maybe when they're healing here they're deciding to change their diet or do things more actively or maybe running or going to the gym or well they're improving their health in any case doing things differently yeah they're gonna take action I like that I feel like he might too that um, they may just have a chance meeting or maybe they work together but things are gonna take off for these two yeah they're gonna communicate clearly I like that all right Let's get some more cards. What's another question I can ask? Um, hmm. Is it Dilaraba that is the one that was... Um, <laughs> was it Dilaraba that was the one who was... Um, <laughs> for the honeymoon card so the one that was engaged that's, that's what I'm looking for is the one who was engaged that wasn't coming to me don't stop and no so it wasn't her that was engaged to him so this is another female that he broke up with so it was not her because I wondered if it might be her but she's in the reverse so I didn't feel it would be um, if they're both mirroring each other and doing self-love, I would expect to see them both in the upright where he is and this other feminine here is not. So this is not her, this Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So what's the healing heart here? Anything else that we need to know for Dilaraba? Ah, oh, within an, the next few months. Wow, okay. So they're going to meet or reconnect maybe in the next few months. If you believe and trust, they have to have faith in spirit that spirit's doing work on their behalf here to bring them together. So, and what else is the last? Yeah, they have to let go. And give it to God or whoever they believe in spirit so yeah wow this is cool and what's on the bottom of the deck there's something better yeah and I feel like that is the case here when it comes to these other two women um, he's doing the work and something better is coming in and I feel that might be Dilaraba and it says the next few months so let's maybe see what we have for the timeline is next few months let's see seven months and we've got Taurus oh so one to seven months wow okay so one to seven months they're going to come together one may have Taurus in their chart Aquarius Aquarius, Ooh. Capricorn, Cancer, 
and Scorpio. So keep in mind, this may be the signs of these two other women that are here. It could be his sign and Dilaraba's signs, but it could be anywhere in their natal chart. So that's what I have for Dilaraba and Yang Yang. <laughs> Things are going to come together for these guys, whether they're going to work or if it's love. I guess we'll have to wait till the next reading and it might give us a little bit more. But we know they're going to meet between one and seven months from now, maybe work together or actually work together and maybe something comes out of that in a relationship. So we shall see what happens. But they're both doing that work, the personal healing. They're mirroring each other, and I really like this. I think this is great, positive, and hopefully everybody is able to keep up with this to what is being said in the reading, and I didn't uh, complicate it too much. <laughs> Um, and yeah, okay guys, don't forget to give me that thumbs up or like, share, and subscribe. Become that oracle, the divine one, of course. And yeah, stay blessed. We'll see you next time. All right, later.